Hello guys and welcome to The Crooked Man. It's an RPG Maker game about The uh, Crooked Man. And I actually forgot who made it. Oh, whatever. Let's start. This, co this game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of art and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. That sounds promising, I guess. Good music. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked man. We found a crooked sixpence. Upon a crooked style. We brought the crooked cat. Which caught the crooked mouse. And we all lived together. In the crooked little house. Oh, or not. What? Never mind. Paul. Phew. Finally, things look tiny in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice! The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Can I? Oh yeah, I can. David Hoover. Cell phone, pack of cigarettes, and a lighter. What can I? Guess not. What's this? That's great. Well, beside the crack, it's it's a pretty good house, I guess. Turn the refrigerator, stove, sink. Yeah, I guess cupboard. What's this? Huh? Sheesh! Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Yeah, that's that's Paul's license. <laughs> I don't know what even violence. Let's get it. Never mind. You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? Can't even afford much for anything. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. Wow, Davis. Your friends are... What's this? Oh, it's a wash... Oh, that doesn't look like a washing... Well, it does kind of. A wash basin. I don't want to go. Probably not. A shower. What? What's this box? It's, it's so far up. For some reason, I need a ladder to read. Oh, a computer! An old one, but still a computer, I guess. The phone is calling. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Who's Shirley? I guess. wrong number? I'll just call it today. I should take it easy for an, my first day in the place. Yeah, uh, do I, do, don't you, do you just sleep? Man, I'm tired. Do you just sleep in your clothes? Is that, is that comfortable? I mean, if you feel like comfortable, then that's okay with me, David. <laughs> Someone is crying. <laughs> oh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. He's one of my neighbors. I should go complain. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing you do you is complain. You were still in your clothes. Go out. Nothing gets no response. Nothing gets no response. It's no response. Whoops. Woman's voice. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can't hear from my room even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? It was I was asleep until you woke me up. You're trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Er, uh, I guess so. It's probably true though. There are like three rooms in between. Sorry for waking you up. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was this uh, just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep, I guess. 
This is my number. Yeah, come on. Get the pocket pocket. Why were you open? Under the bed. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. It could be a prank though, really. Let's check though. Under the... what? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Why did you go inside the bed to check it out first? I, okay. Hmm, found something. Got a scrap, scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writing. I can't say goodbye. What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. Uh, I don't know why he would he leave that. It's pretty sad. <laughs> and someone is crying again. That sounds dumb. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. That's pretty weird, huh? I'm okay with that. What's day? Wait, no, it's night, is it? Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come with her today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Go where? Oh, there's Paul. Paul, what is it? Yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Boo! Thanks. So, you're going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like this. Anyway, I'm off. Damn it, no, I can't stand you! What? No to go with what? <laughs> Does it say on the plate? Okay, then we're going. <laughs> So weird. Where do I need to go? Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's the radio, I guess. That's uh, his mother. Mom, it's been a while. Why are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, he's certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. It's been busy. Wait, you were David, not Paul. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too. I love cake too. So when you get better, you can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, baby. I like fighting you do worries myself. Maybe they can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, they opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. The radio is very distracting. Oh. oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have to phone book? Who are you? Say something, will you? No. Oh, is she is mad. Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Nurse one. <laughs> Jerry, name is Jerry. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. No, I'm done. Let's, let's get into your head. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We have to leave for today. Take care. Take care of her. David. Is that my David boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom, the flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, David. Please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! 
David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said her name. I said leave. Oh. Mrs. Silver, please calm down. Bring the said. I don't know how to spell that word. I want to go back. Why can't I go back in? Why doesn't it happen? But, okay. Hello David, did you see your mother? Yeah, I thought I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgetting many things. She's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her. Thanks. Did this chair move? What? Did I move? <laughs> Why do you have to look at the cupboard for, to check if the chair moved? Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something that or or what? Gonna leave it for school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, there's LLM courses or circle. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former's tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of of stuff. Maybe the furniture is be better after all, huh? Did, did you keep it? The fuck of all, I guess. <laughs> I want to go to sleep, but I guess not today. Hello. How are you, David? How are you doing? Haha, uh -huh. you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got the call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... And sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She sh she should just look out for herself. No, right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. So Shirley is her ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend. What are those po Is the artist books? Okay. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Also, you are standing on those cu on that couch, sort of. Yeah. What are those books, though? What is this crack? I didn't even check. There's a large crack in the wall. Oh, okay. Well, okay, sorry. I got stuck. So this, this sounds like. Why did you turn it by itself? Well, it's an old TV. I don't know. It's broken. Yeah, <laughs> that was indeed creepy, yeah. <laughs> Did it say sink? What was that? Well, that's... I mean, the best thing to do is to check out the sink, right? In that wash base. Wait, is that... N is that not what I have to check? Oh, n never mind. There's a scrap of paper under here. And the where? Under this, there was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked expense against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. We read that at the beginning. Isn't this a mother goose ram? I have no idea, I, David. Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. You should, we probably should. Let's go sleep. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. <laughs> the place seems haunted, David. I think you, you, your friend Paul really picked the wrong house. I appreciate Paul and Myron's help, but... Yeah, just sleep. It's better that way. <laughs> that's... Th th is that the kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Yeah, go check. <coughs> what? I'm not moving. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Something cracked. Yeah. No, 
but there was nothing. I was actually expecting that this box or that yeah the tin can or whatever it is just um fell and broke. Oops, I didn't mean it. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that's startling. But what? How did it fall down? Wait, what? Help me. The coffee says you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy, haha. <laughs> haha, <laughs> yeah. Um, what's up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is it now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the lame lady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask you to land, lady, sure. Later. You should have done that before. The lad lays on the far end of the first floor. I go see what she knows. You you still left those stains on the floor. Never mind. The landlady. What about here? I should apologize later. Yeah, you probably should. You woke her up in the middle of the night because of something. Hey, look, there's another crack of that. I can't inspect it though. This is the landlady's room. Oh, she looks old. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About your room, I mean. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Well, he just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I see you around. Alrighty! Sorry I wasn't very useful. Oh, what a nice lady. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Maybe you should apologize to that woman there, or maybe ask her on a date. It's probably a bad start that you woke her up, but... What is this? It's coming from the crack or the TV. I don't know, it's... what? Oh, dang it, I skipped it. Is there something in this crack? Got the brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt this for anything in here, so I wonder where. That's just, David, you have chosen very poorly with your with your home. The guy's voice, the kid's voice, the mirror riding and the TV turning on, the coffee. Huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Now that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if said Wow, I wouldn't care much. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. David, that's pretty dark. I should not have those suicidal thoughts. There are people that can help you about that. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. Really, but you, you wonder about nothing else? How this, this paint came out of the crack? What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not, not much use thinking about it. I'll call it today. I really sleep a lot. Let's sleep another night. Maybe this time without anyone interrupting. Oh, really? It's, it, it, it sounds like radio again. Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Cupboards, maybe? Do you have a radio there? Not here. What's this anyway? Oh, it's stove, right? No, it doesn't let me cheat it. The thing. No. Is it here? Aha, it came from in here. Radio. What's. Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning around by itself. Ding. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? 
our special place. Where is that supposed to be? Got the paper with an address. Now what? Not many clothes inside. I can't. Well, anyway, then. slept well last night and sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, wasn't expecting it, but done. don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the new lady's love nest. <laughs> That's mean though, don't do that. Hey, why are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, you can't tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Mm, Alright. Besides the thing that you gave me an apartment that your girlfriend doesn't agree with, but you know, I'm not gonna judge you. You did it for me, and that's good. Hey, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a room in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran away from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that mopping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. And bring an umbrella if that happens. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send the postcard. Depends on where. Breakfast's ready, Paul. David will be eating too. Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about his room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. I can see why you even clean up yet. That coffee there is not gonna do well for her. Prologue, David's room. End. And I'm gonna cut this game now today. This was Cushy, and I'm gonna play this game a lot more. I like it. I hope you enjoy it too. And I hope I see you guys next time. Bye bye.